We have new developments in the story of a Richmond student with special needs charged with a crime for showing up to class after school had kicked her out. Stephanie Pretty was asked not to return to Thomas Jefferson, allegedly because she had too many absences. Well, now we've learned those trespassing charges have been dropped. Brent Solomon joins us live from Richmond with this story. Brent, is this fight over now? Kurt, it sure is, and I tell you what, we're talking about a high school student here who hasn't been able to return to her school since this all went down in December. So her family has taken this one straight to the state. Like I want to be able to pick out my prom dress, my, you know, whatever, my graduation dress, and I want to be able to say, you know, this is my moment. Instead, this moment. feels like Stephanie Pretty's nightmare. Doing my work, I keep, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do. This month, a judge threw out the trespassing offense she was charged with for showing up to Thomas Jefferson High after school leaders told her not to. Because she had missed 10 days of school, when mom brought in the, uh, doctor's notes for the 10 days, okay? Then all of a sudden it became because she's skipping class. Now education advocate Candace Lucas is requesting a hearing with the school district. She feels there's a bigger issue at play. Pretty I, uh, suffers from seizures and lives with autism. We're hearing more and more that children with special needs are being pushed out of school. Thomas Jefferson is not accredited. So if we can push out the kids who may impact our ability to be accredited, we have a better chance of being accredited. This is a systemic process. Pretty says the district offered to transfer her to Huguenot, but she feels she should finish her high school career where it all began at TJ. That would have been hard for me my senior year. Whether you put autism in the mix or not, different staff, different peers. Especially yeah. since the family disputes the reason the school kicked her out in the first place. We've asked the, the uh, school district to investigate it, but they're not going to investigate themselves. I, all I want to do is graduate. Me five months and I will be out of your way. All right, Richmond school leaders told me they cannot comment on this case because it involves student privacy. But the very student involved in this story says she'll continue to speak out, especially for those who don't have a voice. On your side in Richmond tonight, Britt Solomon, NBC 12.